Okay, we don't want to lose where the runway is, but I can see the runway now. Matter of fact, we ought to descend a little bit and slow down a little bit. Let me go back inside. We'll get down to about, uh, I can do this outside too. We're 500 feet a minute rate of descent. There's the runway over there on the left side. We're 80, 90 knots coming down. Okay, I'm going to put one click of flap in and retrim the airplane. I'm going to put two clicks of flaps in and retrim the airplane. I'm going to put three clicks of flap trim and we'll do the airplane. Let's see what we got out there. Yep, that looks fine. Okay. We can get a little lower. I can see the runway over there. 60 knots of airspeed. We're traveling just, you know, like we're going down I-95 here, or I-85. And I want to get a better rate of descent here, but I want to hold about my 60 knots. Okay, we're gonna, I can see the airport over there. And we're going to go line up on it pretty soon. Okay, we're about 600 feet. All right, wrong button. There we go. Okay. This view is I'm sitting in the center of the cockpit, where that view is I'm over to the side. So when I get ready to land, I like to sit in the center of the cockpit, holding 60 knots with a descent rate of about, well, maybe a bit more, maybe like 400 feet a minute. All right, power back a little. We're getting a little fast. Here we come. Okay, we're looking all right here. It's like flying an old Ford truck into the runway here. Okay, slowing down a little bit. Breaking my rate of descent. Aim point toward the runway. And we'll see how well we can do this. Gonna cut my drift. Gonna cut my power. toward the center of the runway. Ha! That's the best landing I've made all day. <laughs> you never touch the brakes in this airplane. And I'll tell you why. Because if you touch the brakes, that prop is going to hit the ground. Thank you for watching, everyone. Appreciate it. See you soon.